everyone, it is Kate here for another Victober video. And in this one, I wanted to do the Victober version of If You Liked This, Then Read That. So I will tell you the modern book uh, that I think pairs well with a Victorian novel. And I'll just jump right in. The first one is The Thirteenth Tale. And I think several people on BookTube have referenced this and said that it goes well with Jane Eyre. And I think that it does. And both of these, they involve a woman traveling alone. She doesn't really have much of a life. And she's going to this place she doesn't know about. And she gets here and the house is very mysterious and just like oozing with secrets. And she needs to know what is going to happen. And the way that the tension building and the suspense are in here, I... I really think match up well and just such a love of story and literature, just the art of storytelling, all of that is in there. And I think if you like one of these, you will like the other one. Next is Atonement. Uh, this is by Ian McEwen, one of my most favorite books. It's just so beloved. And in Atonement, it starts out where it's a seemingly normal weekend where some of the older siblings have come back. Um, and they're going to put on a play and just there's family visiting. So it's a very busy weekend at this house. And uh, in that time, something happens and the main character, Bryony, tells a lie that forever affects the rest of the characters. There's such a ripple effect as well. And she can never take it back. Once you, you know, once you say things, you can't unsay them. And so then on the opposite end, sort of the reverse is Sylvia's Lovers by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is one of my favorite Elizabeth Gaskell, and it takes place in way northern England. The town in the book is called Monkshaven, but it is supposed to be Whitby, which is a fishing village. And, you know, the town is getting their income off of that. But at the same time, it is set uh, in the 1700s when their uh, press ganging was a regular occurrence. And in this novel, rather than someone telling a lie, someone withholds information and they don't tell someone they were supposed to relay a message and they intent intentionally do not relay the message. They intentionally withhold it. And this sets off a whole trail of events. And so I think in this, you also see that consequences have real actions. The things that you do really can affect others so deeply for the rest of their lives. And it really plays with that idea. And I really think it's a neat concept for a book. The next one is My Family and Other Animals by Gerald Durrell. So this isn't quite contemporary. This is a more modern classic. But I do think for those who like that kind of humor will really enjoy Three Men and a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. So both of these involve characters being in uh, foreign circumstances to themselves. In My Family and Other Animals, the Durrell family moves from England and they move to Corfu. Uh, in Three Men in a Boat, some friends uh, decide they're going to travel down the Thames River, and uh, they are not skilled sailors, I'll just say that. And it is just the most hysterical adventures. There were so many times when I would just laugh out loud hearing the different things that would happen in this book, and I think the humor is very similar. And if you liked one, I think you will like the other. The next book that I have to pair is uh, Nine Coaches Waiting by Mary Stewart. So I think Mary Stewart is kind of gaining some fame on booktube, which makes me so very happy. And Nine Coaches Waiting was the first book that I read from her and still remains my very favorite. In this one, a uh, young lady travels as a governess and to... Um, uh, a new household and she doesn't know the family at all but when she gets there she realizes a conspiracy that is going to happen and she needs to stop it and uh i could not stop reading this i was on the edge of my seat the way the tension building and the suspense in this was amazing uh so much better than modern day thrillers because in modern day thrillers it just picks you up and then, t you know, spits you out at the end. And I just felt so blah, like I've eaten a bunch of junk food after modern day thrillers, but nine coaches waiting. I just felt amazed and in awe of the plot after reading it. And so the Victorian novel that I think has a very, very similar experience with the tension building is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. This was one that I read last year with Kate from the novel Nomad and Brie. 
uh, from Bree Hill, and we had so much fun. Again, I couldn't turn the pages quickly enough in this. Uh, I enjoyed reading it in a week. If I had been reading it on my own, I could have definitely seen myself reading it in three days, though. Um, and just the way from the very beginning, you want to know what is Lady Audley's secret, what is going to happen, and it's just a wild ride from start to finish. So I think they're both just so... Um, it's just such an amazing, suspenseful experience to read both, and I'm just in awe of how skilled both of these authors were and I can't wait to read more from Mary Elizabeth Braddon and I'm very sad that very shortly I will run out of new um, Mary Stewart to read. Then uh, next on the list is the Charles Finch series or sorry the Charles Lennox series and the author is Charles Finch. So these are set in the Victorian era and Charles Lennox is a gentleman. He is a, a man about town who uh, kind of is doing his own thing and then just sort of takes up detective work. And because of his status in society, he can kind of uh, mingle and get information from people that would normally be hard to get it from, kind of the higher ranks of society. Um, so it's a kind of cozy historical mystery series, but I don't want you to hear cozy and automatically take down your expectation of the writing a couple notches because the writing is pristine. I think it's a really fabulous series out there that you should check out. So that is the modern one. And so I think for fans who like that, you would like Sherlock Holmes. So the cases, um, the way the plot is set out, the way clues are found, all of that, I think is very similar. I think if you like the tone of that, the atmosphere of it, you will like Sherlock Holmes, particularly the Sherlock Holmes short stories, I think feel more conducive to the feel of the Charles Finch novels. So those are my if you like this then try that Victober recommendations and I hope I will see you guys for another video soon and have a lovely day.